NC 2000. We'll return in a moment. American City to Cokie Roberts. We all thought that, uh, that the Vatican was going to be overwhelmed by people. How big has the crowd been? Well, the crowd in the square is now about 50,000 people, which is all it holds. But they're from all over the world, Peter, and it's appropriate that it's the next midnight after Bethlehem. We've just had runners chase the route of St. Paul from the Holy Land to Rome, light a torch in front of St. Peter's, uh, and all of the crowd now has candles in their hands. You can see flags from all over the world, uh, and they're just waiting now for the Pope to come out into his window and give his speech to the city and the world. Just a quick little blessing at midnight tonight, but this is a very, very both excited, but also uh, a holy crowd. It's a crowd of pilgrims, mm -hmm. and they are feeling that part very strongly. Koki, thank you very much. We'll be back to you in just a couple of minutes. Well, we have to give it to Paris. Nobody's done it like that today. And there, and there is Vatican City. Koki Roberts. Well, Peter's standing now at his window with the fireworks going off all around him is the tiny figure of the Pope and the crowd here in, Vat in the St. Peter's Square. Uh, as you can hear, very excited to see him there and also excited that there are fireworks going off all around. But you know, I've been struck, there is the Pope. I've been struck, Peter, in all this today, especially coming from Bethlehem, that this idea of 2,000 years ago, the birth of Jesus being celebrated still and being celebrated in all these places you've gone to. Uh, the Catholic Church alone now, with a billion people, has uh, most of them living in Asia, South America, and Africa. And we'll keep an eye on the Vatican to make sure that we get the word. Brandenburg Gate. In a unified Berlin for the first time since the end of World War II. Sul quadrante della storia scocca un'ora importante. Inizia in questo momento l'anno 2000. His name in Polish. introduce in un nuovo millennio. Per i credenti è l'anno del grande giubileo. Buon anno a tutti voi. It was so important to this Pope to make it to the millennium. He's 79 years old. He was elected the Bishop of Rome in 1978. And somewhere in our system, I think we have an interpreter who will translate and pass on his Italian. We'll come back to the Pope as soon as we can translate him. I apologize to all of those of you in the audience who speak Italian naturally. And to ponder, as I'm sure Koki Roberts will elaborate, on this man who has been so important to the latter part of this century. Koki, I, was, I went back with him on his first official trip to Poland. He looks so frail now, and as I said earlier, he was so determined to make it here. And he made it, and he is still determined to make it to the Holy Land uh, in March and to make it uh, as many places as he can throughout this Jubilee year. He does rally, Peter, for events like this, and what he's doing now is offering prayerful good wishes uh, to the people of the world. It's really a New Year's wish. Now he's singing the... He's singing the song of a very uh, long-standing 
of uh, wishing it's a it's a Gregorian it chant of wishing you the blessing in the Latin. But his message has essentially just been a, a message of good. Happy New Year's wishes saying Christ yesterday, today, and forever. To him belong time and the ages. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And as you can see, this crowd has waited for him happily, standing and continue to greet them as they wave these torches, uh, torches that were lit from the Holy Land and now singing hymns. So it's not the exuberance of Paris, but it is a commemoration of what this 2,000 years is all about. Certainly on the Christian calendar, without question. We've seen him sapped of his energy down through the years, but here in front of St. Peter's Square and St. Peter's Basilica, the premier church of Roman Catholic Christendom, named for his disciple Peter, who was also the first pope, we see, as Koki says, the great commemoration of why much of the world is celebrating this millennium this evening. Let Peter, you know, this spot where St. Peter's is has been a place of worship since well before Christianity. Uh, it's one of those spots that human beings have congregated on and worship deities from time out of mind. And it seems to continue to attract people in that way, that as, as a sacred spot throughout the generations. Thank you, Koki. That's the Pope and the Papal. And finally, we go to Rome, and the Pope appeared on the balcony at St. Peter's at the Vatican at midnight. A crowd of some 50,000 filled the capacity of St. Peter's Square. He gave his traditional Urbi et Orbi address to the city and the world from that balcony. The ailing Pope was said to be completely determined to make it to see the church into the third millennium, and he plans a visit to the Holy Land this year.